Well, if you're bored with me looking around all the brocants, I think you need to fast forward a little bit. But we do visit a lot. Right, I've popped into a mouse to have a look and see if I can find a light fitting, a light fitting for the bathroom. What I'm hoping to find is quite a cute little chandelier. Hmm. It's going to be quite small, it also looks a bit ridiculous, but um, yeah. Hmm. Oh. It's got the top piece missing. Yes, I haven't seen anything that strikes me. It was quite a pretty light there with the blue. More of a kitchen like that one. Seems to have quite a lot of clocks. That's quite sweet. That's 40 euros. Yes, I think they're in a sale of clocks. No. Yes, they seem to be having a sale. Look at that, 35 euros. That's almost handmade. That is handmade. What's that one? That one's 50 euros. Oh, that's extremely deco, that one. Look at that. 20 euros, and it's got the garnitures with it as well. How cool. Oh, really heavy. How cool is that? Dans, dans pas longtemps, ils vont fermer. Le château, là. Ça va être somewhere close, I think. I think they're obviously having a clear out on clocks. That's got a really pretty face, that one. 60 euros.
Ah, I lean years. No. I wouldn't know how to get it going. And it certainly wants a big clean up. That's amazing, I don't know what he's... See quite a lot of this style, we've had these in the past. That's 20 euros that one. That one's quite quirky, look. A van de France, 23 euros. And... There's a little cuckoo clock for three euros as well. My nan used to have one of those, it was a little bit posher than that one. <laughs> Look, these alarm clocks, they're amazing. I quite like that one, I wonder if it works. I don't know if they work. You can buy one from one euro, look, little carriage clock, or one euro for that alarm clock. There's another really deco one. Another deco one with the doggy on, 20 yeah. euros. <laughs> oh, some more modern ones. Right. Now, I didn't come in for clock. I was hoping to find a chandelier. I don't think I'm going to find one in here. Okay. Um, that's a rather nice bedside. That's 25 euros. The marble all looks in good condition. That's in very good condition. It's quite tall. Wobbling because of the floor. But yeah, it's very well made. Po cupboard. As they usually are. There's a little owl made out of wood. How weird is that? Very clever actually. Look at the feathers. Made out of pieces of wood. It was quite a nice wardrobe or more. Love the beveled glass. Shelving rather than hanging space. And the doors are a bit stiff. 80 euros. I'm also looking for quite a quirky antique mirror in the bathroom. These are quite pretty. Pair of bedroomy chairs. 45 euros for two, that's not too bad. Very usable. More like the one my nan had, or oh, actually, no, the one my nan had was better. There's several warehouses on this site. This is the one that's just for the clothes clothes, suitcases, shoes, bags. It's just enormous. Oh, and some rugs. I've got time to look at those today.
Right. Well, yeah. my grandma had something like that with a mouse trying to climb in it. <laughs> no, actually it had a mouse inside it and a cat trying to get the mouse. Some more taxidermy. That's rather a good one. Oh my god, the top of one of his horns. I was almost tempted then. But his face is rather good. It's your five year old. It's actually very realistic. I'm tempted to buy him. I think I will. It will be. Yes, I have no idea where we're going to put him. I shall tell you, I'll find a space probably upstairs in the landing. What's here? Oh, yeah, <laughs> 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 <A> new friend. It's jolly, it's bien conservé. There's another clock there. With two deer, as I say. Something a repair, I presume it's to repair. It's only 20 euros. Now, more taxidermy. Unfortunately, not great examples. Quite a nice setting with the two, but not in very good condition. I can't even see their faces. Right, I've just been called in as Tony's about to switch the water back on. Well, there might be a problem with it. He's let these valves. Oh, okay, so I've got to watch these. You've got to watch everything. Valves. Oh, and the new connections as well. well you're coming straight back, aren't you? But yeah. yeah so turn it on. Um, okay. Just do it on gradually, yeah? Yeah. Not on the full pressure to start with. Well, this is the scary bit. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, say when? Yeah, it's on. Oh, it's not. It's, on. Right, it's moving. Yeah. I can hear water. I don't want to hear water. Why? Did you hear that? Hear yeah, what? Like a little trickle inside the pipe. I'm talking about. Yes. Stop doing that because it sounds like a trip. These pups are moving, look. That's really weird. Uh, what about over there? I can't see anything over there. I want to get away with this. this. Shh. Ah. What? Can you hear it? Hear what? What? Can you hear it filling out with water? I don't want to. No. Obviously, the hot one's not connected, is I it? I thought you meant a drip or something. Right. Now, the hot pipe is not connected, is it? No. So, why is this one moving? Because it's moving because the other one's moving. Oh. I can hear water. I uh, can't see any water, which is good. I'm going to come around this side. Oh, it's a bit of an obstacle course here. Uh, oh, maybe a tiny... Hang on. No, it's a scratch on the pipe. I can't obviously get up there to touch it, but it looks like... Yeah. Yeah, there's no significant thing that I can see. If you want to go around with the tissue just to be absolutely sure, but yeah, nothing major. I'm going to turn it on. Oh, it's not on full, no, not on full pressure yet. Okay, is it on full? Yes, it's doing that wiggly thing again. Can't hear any escaping here. Good. I don't want any escape in here because that means the water can get out. Water. It's all very undramatic actually, which is good. 
never in doubt. We want, <laughs> we want undramatic. Obviously, I can't see up there to your, um, what are those bolted connections? Compression joints. Oh, it's a compression joint. Oh, sorry, I couldn't think of the name of it. Um, there's a lot of reflections, but I think it's just... Uh, so, shall I find, oh, find some tissue and see? No, you don't need tissue. You don't need tissue to check, check no. Well, so completely dry down here. Yeah, read down. That's excellent. Brilliant. Oh, you can hear air, did you say? I said, let's clear some air. Oh, you just hold that. Oh, right, never mind. Oh, I see. You're going to turn it on, are you? Oh, look at the pressure on that. Now, obviously, the hot bit is not connected up yet, is it? No. So that's just got air in these ones. Yes. No, it's the other one, isn't it? Oh. That's the top one, you've got. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time. Uh, right, obviously we still haven't got the connection to the Jeep yet because that's where that tap is going. I still need a straight it? connector for that, which I, have, which I haven't looked in a workshop yet. So. Oh, I see. Um, but we know that, that up to that tap's dry, we know that's dry because it's because... Oh yeah, I'm not saying that. Well, you've we obviously got connect on the end of it, but um, you, would you just connect this blue pipe back to that, will you? Yes. Right. It's looking good. Or should I not say that? Click touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> it's always a scary bit, isn't it? Never in doubt. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, you do try and make the best job of it, don't you? To make sure it's done properly in the first place. Oh. What? I saw a very, very tiny pinprick there. Look. It might have. Is it splashed back from where you just released the pressure? Uh, my, my rag. Oh, it's just dripped off. If that's the worst, that's uh... all right. No, there's nothing there. Do you think you splashed it when you opened the tap? Yeah. I'll just keep an eye on it for a minute. Is that is that developing a little tiny drip there? It's just there, isn't it? Yeah, just there. That's like on the tape. Does it need just nipping up? It's not on the um, solder, is it? Yeah, look, it's a tiny wing one. Look, it's just trying to get to the end of my finger at the moment. There's my spanner down here, please. Okay. Moved a tiny bit, not much. Ah, right. Now dry it again. Let's see. No, that's all right. Good. Just want to check these ones again. That's it. Okay. Beer o'clock. Oh, yes, yeah, beer o'clock for Tony. Well, you've only just put the water back on. Yep. You're going in the shower then? Yep. Oh. And then tomorrow, grand clear up. Yeah, grand clear up sounds good. So it is a bit of a mess out here, Tony. This is not like you. You don't normally work in this much mess. Take that pipe down. 
Yeah. Are you so you're not connecting the Jeep back up tonight? No. Oh, okay. But that'll be fine. We're not using it at the moment, are we? We've got one bathroom and an extra toilet upstairs, haven't we? Yeah. You're just giving it another once over. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll keep a check on it. Never do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that seems to have solved that, doesn't it? Yeah, dry. Good. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> this mess you've made. Round clear up tomorrow. And I've never seen you work in this much mess. I suppose it's a very small space, isn't it? Yes. And then connect that up. Okay. And then plasterboard it. Can we put the blanket back along the bottom of these doors because it's freezing? You can lock out that door as well over here. Oh. Yeah. Terrific draft coming through here and it's absolutely freezing. It didn't get above freezing yesterday. And uh, it's similar today. Oh, good. Right. Oh, okay. And then what? Storage. I've got to do the um, stone wall yet. Yes. But obviously I can't do that while you're doing all this. Right, we've just turned the hot water supply back on. And we're just checking. Oh, look at the pressure in that. Obviously we're checking to see make sure there's no leaks. So far, so good, she says, touching wood. Is it hot? Yes. Good. So that's the one for the basin. Right. It looks a bit brown, is it? Is it that just because be of the pipes? Stuff in the pipe. Oh, okay. I'm not going to drink it. Okay, and then we've got to do that one over there. That's the other hot one. There's two hot ones here, and we've checked the ones that are under the stairs where the tank is, where the gallon uh, is. That's so powerful. Oh, yes. Right, so now we've just got to check. Obviously, the pipe's hot now. To make sure that it's not leaking. I can't see anything. Uh, That might be where Tony's just splashed it. Let's just have another go. That's in fine. Anything? Can't see anything, no. I mean, it's, it's a bit wet on the bottom, but that's where you've just let the well, water out. Yeah. Well, uh... Obviously, I'm looking up the top there. I can't get up there to no, just it. run your fingers around it. You'd see, well, it. You'd see the drip if it was here. You're going to check anyway, though, aren't you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It always looks like a drip, doesn't it? That solder. Yes. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. Okay. Checking all your connections. That's the cold. Yeah. Oh, you're just checking that cold anyway. We checked all that one yesterday, but yeah. is that all right still? Yeah. You checked it again before you went to bed, didn't you, Tony? In case yeah. you had bad dreams. <laughs> yeah. Never in doubt. <laughs> yeah, you still checked it though. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is check the waste. Ah, yes, we've not done that, yeah. Under the stairs. A discovery? Yes. Is it exciting? Well, it's not that exciting. Well, under the stairs where the ballon is? Yes. All right, show me then. I'm following you out here. All right, what discovery? This is the uh, under the stairs bit that Tony's referring to, which is where the ballon is downstairs. It's all a bit uh, nasty in here. And we have... Uh, oh! 
There's a hole in the wall. And there's like a, that looks like a window. It's an aluminium funnel. Oh. I suppose they must have used this as like a storeroom. S&B, whatever that is. A what? S&B is the manufacturer. Oh, it's aluminium, is it? Yeah. 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 What would they have used that for? Well, funneling things. <laughs> but funneling what is what I'm asking. No idea. I've never really looked too far in here because it's all a bit, um, it's a bit damp and um, this is actually the stone stairs that go down the side from the upstairs balcony. So these are outdoors and they do leak. Um, I don't know what that is. So it does get a bit damp in here. What's inside there? I can't see. I'm not going in there because I can't. Can you see anything? Oh, what is it like a chimney? Oh, sort of. Uh, how? Like an oven or some sort of. No. Like a, well, I don't know what it is. Hang on. Can I get through there? Well, I did. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit bigger than you. <laughs> no, that's, that's a bit too narrow for me, Tony. No, okay. What is it? I don't know. Can you put the camera there and show us? Don't press the buttons yeah. and then just put your thumb on the button. Stop yeah. it. Hold it this end. So, Tony's going to test that bit down there. Yes, and then he's going to have a clear up. <laughs> okay. He doesn't normally work in this sort of mess. He's usually quite tidy. Ah. So you want this little funnel then? No, I don't need that. Yeah, I've got this. Uh, oh. Okay. I think he's going to use it. So, what are we looking for here then? Well, nothing, hopefully. We're obviously just testing these joints here. Yes. And checking that it goes through. Well, I don't go through. I don't want any leaks. So, the shower west connects sideways into that pipe, doesn't it? Yeah. Floor level. See the water is going away. You do realise that was the water I was going to make a cup of tea with. The water's back on now. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, of course it is, yes. <laughs> I saved that to make the tea. Okay. Good. Well, there's nothing coming out of the wrong place there, is there? Yeah. That's good as well. Yeah. Well, you've had a result there. The only bit you can't do is the basin, but then you can get to that if we need to, can't you? Yeah. yeah, and the wall won't be closed up until it's all fitted anyway, will it? That's good. Right. Tony's been having a clear up. That looks better, doesn't it? You can actually get to see... The size of what's left of the hallway now, which is pretty good, still. And obviously the size of the bathroom. We go through the door. Well, I can't go through the door. You can go through the door. There we are. And that's still to be boxed in where the metal framework is over there. My job very soon is to dig out all that uh, loose mortar and redo the lime mortar in there. I'll dig out the bits of cement as well. And then one of Tony's next jobs is to take out this, these doors and replace it with a new double glazed door that we've bought. Um... That's going to make it warm in here because that's freezing there. Uh, yeah, getting there. So, we bought the stone tiles. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of a accident on the way back. Well, there wasn't an accident. It just uh, cracked on the way back somehow. And this is the stone flooring that we bought, the stone tiles. So that's going to look really good. So all the plumbing, first fix plumbing's all in place. First fix 
wrists and everything. Yeah, it's good. <laughs>